Another thing you can do to prevent altitude illness besides going up slowly is to take certain medications and there is an amazing drug called acetazolamide often sold under the trade name Dymox and it's been used for many many decades now to both prophylax to prevent mountain sickness as well as to treat mountain sickness. Now certain people shouldn't take it. For example, if you are allergic to sulfur or sulfa drugs, you should not take acetazolamide, Dymox. You could, if you really were desperate to take it, have your doctor prescribe some, take it a week or so before you're ready to leave for your mountain trip and see if you are running around on all fours barking like a dog, in which case you shouldn't take it to the mountain. But often people that think they have allergies in fact don't. But anyway, it is contraindicated. You shouldn't take it if you have sulfur allergies. It has some pesky side effects, one of them being it makes you pee a lot, but it's not a real big deal. You often pee a lot for the first 12 hours and that kind of calms down. Another thing is it's a major contraindication for some people. It makes beer taste really bad. And it's interesting, the reason for that is carbonic anhydrase inhibitors they inhibit the hydration of carbon dioxide on your tongue so when you drink a carbonated beverage normally that carbon dioxide is hydrated on your tongue and you don't taste it but when that carbon dioxide sits on your tongue when you're on a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor it tastes nasty so carbonated beverages in general don't taste good on Dymox. The dose of Dymox is small it's typically sold as a 250 milligram tablet it is one half a tablet 125 milligrams twice a day, typically starting the day or so before you start climbing. But if you need to take it the morning of your climb, that's fine too.